Benjamin E. Mays High School is located in the heart of Southwest Atlanta in the Adamsville community. Um, it's named after Benjamin Elijah Mays, who is a notable educator, especially amongst African-American scholars. Dr. Mays is known as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s mentor during his time at Morehouse College. My main goal for students in my class is to really push them to be able to do some problem solving creatively, as well as giving them an opportunity to learn and appreciate the entire creative process. The Siena Solutions Challenge gives my students a great opportunity to be able to practice these skills. A lot of my students are self-identified aspiring entrepreneurs. So this project just brings a real world element to my classroom. It's just a really great addition to make our classroom expand past the four walls. The project we created was meant for the mobile, but we could also use it for educational purposes. We could expand it to people that don't like school at all, or can't come to school, or incarcerated. Well, the functions of the headset is where you have like the virtual experience, open hallways, it has like ways you can interact with like open your locker, open the doors. And when you walk into a classroom, you can virtually walk and sit down in a chair and, for your, and with your teacher with their plans and papers all virtually. I want this to be so big that everyone want to buy it. The project I created was Health as Well. It was a podcast where I interviewed student athletes to get their aspect, you know, how does it fit in with the team, how are the coaches, how is it coming through injuries and getting back on the, getting back on the field, just how they take all of it in. What I want to do in my career is uh, be a sports broadcaster. So I was like, how can I, you know, get a head start in that by doing a sports podcast? So that's how I came up with the idea. Having feedback from the Sienna team, I think really makes the students understand that this project with Sienna, it's a real living, breathing thing that people are excited to hear from the students. The feedback I got from Mr. Toya was that it's good and I just need to continue doing what I'm doing and reach out further so we can do more creative work with it and he would be um, willing to help. It definitely encouraged me to keep doing it. I recently had a student who said, wow, Ms. Barron, I think I could actually do this. Like, I really think that I can take this project outside of this classroom and make it a business. And that was the moment that I feel the student really connected with the challenge. And I just saw an entire new set of energy come out of them. And that was really, really rewarding for the student and I both.